Hi, RMA families. My name is Erica Levy, and I'm here to speak to you briefly about Blooms, uh, which is our school communication system that uh, RMA is using for the 24-25 school year. Just some quick facts about the program. Uh, you are able to connect via an app uh, that you can download to your phone. Uh, it is compatible with iPhones, Androids, etc. In addition to the app, uh, you are also able to connect uh, via a website, which is www.blooms.net. An important thing to note about use of Blooms at the middle school campus is that we really use it primarily for whole school messaging. Um, so we only load the iLead sections. However, um, for communication with your children's teachers, we uh, provide Google Voice numbers so that you can call and text your teachers readily. Um, some teachers also uh, prefer to utilize their school email. So again, you will use Blooms to receive uh, full entire whole school communications. Um, sometimes we'll send some specific grade level messages, but individual communication with your teachers should be done via Google Voice or email. If you are new to Blooms, um, if you haven't already, uh, you should be receiving or have received an email or a text uh, inviting you to create an account. Uh, this message does go directly to the enrolling parents uh, information that we have on file in Focus. Um, so if you have not received it, it is possible that we don't have your preferred information in our student information system. Uh, so uh, in that case, we recommend that you uh, get in touch with the uh, front office or the registrar's team. If you are a returning user, um, you may very well just be able to log into Blooms and see the update immediately um, that has um, taken place in your app. Now, you might need to log uh, in and out. Uh, you also want to make sure you have the current version of the app if you haven't turned on automatic up updates. If you're not sure, I always say it never hurts to just uninstall and reinstall, and then you'll guarantee you've got the most current version. Um, if you're a returning user and you've forgotten your password, as we all do sometimes over a long summer, um, you can actually request a reset via the app or the website. And um, just one other housekeeping tip is if you're having issues with the app, take a moment and try connecting at the, uh, the website, uh, www.blooms.net. Um, it doesn't happen often, but we have run into the occasional issue uh, where someone's device just wasn't playing nicely um, with the app. So um, if you're able to connect fully and see all your sections on the website, but not the app, that kind of helps us figure out uh, the source of the issue. So um, again, if you haven't already connected via the emails that we are sending, um, either look back or we'll let you know when those are coming. It's hard recording this in the future and then knowing you may have received it between now and then, but um, they should be on the way if they haven't already come. Um, if you can't connect, I invite you to email me or scan the QR code to uh, complete a form for some assistance. Um, you know, Blooms is a very easy to navigate um, program once you get used to it. Um, I know many of our returning families have been using it for years now. So hopefully um, we can get you uh, connected to your whole school RMA communication with uh, not a whole lot of growing pains. So again, my name is Erica Levy. Please reach out to me if I can be of any assistance. And I hope you have a great 24-25 school year. Thanks and have a good day.